Well, this is the supercomputer, and I'm going to tell you on this little video how to uh, exchange the SD card. This is the SD card that's in the end of your supercomputer. You can look at it from the end. And this is where the magic is. Everything in your supercomputer that it operates on is here. And if you take your fingernail and just pull it out like this, you can pull it out. This is the 30 gigabyte SD card. It's where you store all the things that you work on. It's where everything that we've sold you is. When you pull this out, the supercomputer now is an inert box. It's a paperweight. It, it, there's nothing in it. There's no information. All the information that you have is in this SD card. And so now if you want to put it back in, you just have to come down here very carefully. And remember now, these are the, the you do it the right way. This is the, the uh, electrical contacts on it. And that faces down. And you put it in here. And you just push it in. And there it is. And now you back, put it back in. Now, you don't ever have to take this out of your supercomputer when you buy one. Uh, I use my supercomputer for a long time now, all through the development stage and everything. I've never had to take it out for any reason. However, some people want to take it out for various reasons. For example, if you're traveling and if you have very sensitive data on here that you don't want anyone to get in case you would lose it or they would steal it or confiscate it, you can take this out and then you still carry this with you, but it doesn't have anything in it. And you put this in another place. Now, where I would recommend you put it is uh, you will get with your uh, supercomputer, you'll get a card like, you get a carrying case like this. This is actually designed to put it into a different kind of an instrument, which we don't use. But your supercomputer card is just in here. And so I would put it in here. And then you can just put this somewhere in your wallet or anywhere safe and carry it. And all your data is in here. Now, the other thing you might find is that you might have more than one person that wants to use your supercomputer. You may have a, a spouse or a child, and you may not want them to have access to your data, so you may want to buy an extra one of these, which, of course, you can do so. Uh, you can buy an extra one of these, and it'll have uh, all the information on it. It just won't have any of your personal data on it. And then that way, uh, if you want someone to use it other than yourself, you can take yours out and insert theirs in. Now, be careful when you insert it in. You've got, to, you've got to really line this up just properly and be careful about it because if you don't, it can, you can slip it in underneath the uh, in a case and you might have a hard time getting it back out. So uh, you don't ever have to do that, but you can. It's, it's good for security. It's also good if you want to have more than one person using it and you don't want them to necessarily share each other's data. So that's all there is to it. If you choose to, and by the way, if you don't buy a backup now, and if something happens and your super and your card gets damaged, uh, you can replace it with another one for uh, I think it's twenty nine dollars now is what we're, is what they cost, and so you can always do that at a later date, or you can order one now as a backup. That's your choice.